G'day guys, it's Chad and Colin from Top Catch in uh, Takapuna. Just wanted to talk to you about uh, guides on your rods, on the ocean angler rods especially. Uh, now if you notice a lot of their rods do have these little titanium guides. They're uh, there for a purpose, their sizes. So um, especially if you guys notice like the uh, microwave guides on the micro V2s and the Ginkos especially. Um, now there's actually two guides on the first guide and it shoots off very, very quickly into very, very small, tiny little titanium guides uh, with little ceramic inserts for that smoothness so the braid shoots through your guides very, very quickly. So with the um, longer cast, you'll realize uh, being away from the boat, there's less noise from the boat, you'll find the fish more comfortable and they'll pick the baits up a lot more aggressively. Um, so yeah, so having a longer cast from the boat, um, you will find uh, a higher chance of picking up a larger fish, a bigger fish, because they tend not to uh, like hang out in the back of the boat um, because of the noise, whether it be like the hull slap or the you know, motor running. So casting out that little bit, uh, having a longer distance cast will make uh, a big improvement in your fishing. So the other thing we would like to talk about is like because of the rod, uh, the size of the guides on the rods um, is the sensitivity. Now, if I get poured to show, uh, just point the camera down towards the rod tips and I'll give these a wobble. Now, just to show you, the one, this one here, this is not an ocean angler rod. You notice it keeps wobbling. The reason why it's wobbling is because these guides are a lot larger. There's nothing wrong with these rods, but the guides are a lot larger and also that also means a lot more weight. It, so the advantages of having smaller guides on the ocean angler rods is better sensitivity, casting distance is improved and your accuracy is improved as well. And the rod itself would be less wobbly so you have a better sensitivity so you can actually detect the smaller minute bites on a very very quiet harder days fishing. So the only disadvantage I can say is with these smaller guides is you definitely need to tie yourself FG knots and or small PR knots um, just so the line the knots can go through the guides a lot easier and there's less knocking so if you're an advanced fisherman soft bait fisherman I highly recommend you actually look for smaller guides just for that sensitivity better casting distance and accuracy so if you'd like to go and come into the shop in Takapuna uh, or any top catch store we can actually tell you and show you exactly what we mean um, from this video on how to use these smaller guides and what you should tie and how to use them 